Taurus, Everlong Mystic here, and I'm going to do an Archetype Influence reading for you. And I've already pre-shuffled and pulled a an Archetype card from the Wild Unknown Archetype deck. And um, you got the Warrior. So powerful, Taurus. You got the Warrior. Now, Before I looked in the book to see what the meaning was for this card, I immediately got, um, I'm getting this rainbow frequency, it is, it's, I'm getting that you are, you are super tuned into it. It's like these horns are antenna for you. You are tuned in to the rainbow frequency and you're also, and you're able to pick up, like, it's, it's like... It's like you're able to relate to a lot of a lot of different frequencies if that makes any sense to you. I guess like um it's kind of like you being able to relate to all the feelings, you know, and to a lot of different kinds of people. And I'm getting um a sense of like this skull is it's like you're familiar uh, you're familiar with the snake. You you know what the snake is for you. You've seen the snake before. I'm not sure what snake means to you, but you're familiar with it. And the skull to me for you is is like it's. I just keep getting ego death. Like you either have experienced an ego death. Or you're going through it, but whatever it is, it it's a pretty strong, it's a pretty strong occurrence. It's it's a very strong occurrence for you. Very potent. And I can't, even, I can barely even remember what the book said about what this card meant. They mentioned something. There was one part that said that the warrior is associated with war. So there is, so whatever whatever this death is, this maybe this ego death was like a really strong battle for you. Because we, you know, people go through different types of ego deaths along the way, um, along, you know, in a lifetime. But there, um, one, I do know one thing that the book said was it takes a very strong person to defeat someone else, but it takes an even stronger person to defeat yourself. And defeating yourself, it means, it's referring to ego death. Like to defeat something within you that is such a strong part of you, but you know needs, you know, like you know you have to do that battle. This is also a card of of picking battles, choosing your battles. You don't have to fight everything. You know, you don't you don't have to fight everything. You don't have to fight everyone. It's being smart. It's being smart about your battles. And it's like it's almost it's almost like the snake, whatever the snake is is helping you. It's almost like the snake is pointing the way, like showing you showing you which battles are are worth fighting for, maybe? I don't know. Interesting, Taurus. And like the the skull like looks like Taurus as well. And it's number ten, so you may have very well completed a, a certain ego death that was or ego battle that was very difficult for you. Alright, let's see. Let's see what else Taurus needs to know about this. Man, I am totally loving that rainbow, that rainbow frequency between the horns. It's almost like that that death, that ego death is like a key to unlock the frequency or something.
<laughs> All right, Taurus. This is you. I think this is you just playing with the new frequencies, getting used to the new frequencies that that you've that you've opened up or that you've gained access to. And then we have the King of Swords here. I feel like it's connected. <clears throat> I feel like it's connected to this center here. It's like a it's like a gold ring <clears throat> with a diamond. It's like, it's like hard, fast knowledge. Like there, there may have been things that you just weren't sure about, but you have a completely new understanding of them. And you're, it's like diamond hard. You, you are, it's very clear, clear knowledge about something. And not only do you know, do you know it like on a physical level, like you see how he's holding the sword, um, but you know it, like, you also know it on a spiritual level. You see how this crow is, like, this is like a spirit sword. Yeah, and there's, and there's wisdom there. So you've learned something, Taurus. And it's like, I don't know, it's, it's almost like you, whatever you've learned, it, it gives, it's giving you more to think about, more to ponder. He has like kind of an inquisitive look on his face. And we have here five of swords. And this, uh, I'm totally getting, this is you going through your ego death. It's like, <clears throat> it's like you're, you know, when, when you were going through this, this ego death, it's like <clears throat> your mind playing tricks on you, saying, no, you don't want to do this, or no, I'm important, and this this is important, and listen to this, and blah, blah, blah. But like, and it was painful. It's like massive headache, man. And it's like, it's like there's this little trail, I don't know if you can see it, this tiny little trail of blood. Like it was a battle. And you finally made it through the battle, and you're like, you're like, whoa, hands up. You're like, yes, I found the frequency. I finally made it. And this is, this is the frequency coming in. This, this rainbow frequency. It's like you being, you, you made it through the battle and, and it's coming in to greet you. Yeah. And you're playing with it. Just like you've got the magician here where you're just like, you're kind of maneuvering and just seeing what you, what you're able to do and how you can harness different frequencies, what they feel like to you. You're getting used to them. And this, this is you getting even better at it. This is you getting better at it. I mean, look, you can hold it in your hand. It's so exciting for you. And this is almost, this is almost you doing, like using these frequencies, using these frequencies to help others. Cause look at the similar colors in, in this rainbow frequency and this card. It's got the purple at the top, and it goes from the pink, you know, to the orange, yellow, just the same or, you know, the same order, the same rainbow order as, as this. But look, all of these candles down here, all of these candles, these are like, this is you sharing, sharing this with others. These are all the others that you can share these frequencies with, which is super amazing. Yeah, here we go, death and rebirth. Just a confirmation of that ego death. Confirmation of the ego death and what was what was on the inside that you found. Ah, and see, this is this is Queen of Cups. So you have two queens here, Queen of Wands. This is you after <clears throat> after kind of swimming around with these with these energies you know, fe feeling what they're about, you get more comfortable, you can share it with others, then, 
Then you get to the really good stuff, Taurus. So you've got, this is like future, this is future Taurus right here. Queen of Cups, future Taurus. And it's different for you because it is, it is a water, <clears throat> it is a water-based card. And you're a super earth sign. But it's about time. It's like, it's time for this. It's, it's time for this, Taurus. This is this is also you not know like not needing it's almost like this is the ego cup and it's empty because you don't need it anymore. You don't need this this death it was it was supposed to happen because you don't need you don't need this confusion. You don't need this you don't need the the mind chatter. You don't need it. Because you have you have the water now. Wow. Future Taurus. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's see if there's anything else. You know what, let's just get a little moon affirmation for Taurus. This is really cool. It's very cool to see that you're, you know, to see you experimenting with, and not, you know, like, because some people would just be afraid if they, well, they'd be too afraid, they wouldn't get past this part, Taurus. A lot of people don't ever get past this part. They don't go on the battle. They don't, they don't go on the internal battle. And you've, you've done it. You've done an internal battle that was major. And it was worth it because you got, you got introduced to some... Some new frequencies you never would have been able to access before. For Taurus, moon affirmation. Ooh. <clears throat> so you got the micro moon. And it says, I let go, I let go of the anxieties of others. Which is awesome because you don't need other people's anxieties bringing you down because that's not that's not like a part of what you're doing now now you are bringing light to others you're bringing these new frequencies to others and you're helping them and even if even if they all these people have problems you're not letting it get to you you're not you're you're just you're letting them go because you know that you're bringing healing that's super cool Taurus well that's your message if this resonated with you, um, please give me a thumbs up, and I will make more videos, so please subscribe and click the notification bell if you'd like to see more. And please share. If, if you know someone else that needs to hear this, please share the video with them, and I will catch you next time. Thanks, Taurus. Bye.